If you have a basic camera tripod like the one here from KNF Concept, the tripod doesn't matter, but what matters is if it has a hook right here. A lot of people will use this hook to hang things when they're hiking, like their camera bag. They'll just hang it right there, keeps it out of the mud. And the secondary use is actually to supposedly make your tripod more stable. Now, granted, this is now more stable since it has some weight hanging from the hook, but I don't like this method. Um, if the ground is clean and you can put your bag or something else on the ground, then I suggest doing this a different way. The main reason I don't like this is because once you've got your, your weight hung, but your bag, this can still move around in the wind, or if you stand up too fast and you knock it, it's still going to shake your tripod. So let me back up and I'm gonna show you the way I do it. So if we have the same tripod, back up to where you can see the full, full Monty here. So instead of hanging something and let it hang in midair, I prefer to put the heavy object all the way on the ground. Let's use my camera bag, for example. Then I will take something like a piece of tie line, a piece of parachute cord, a little shoelace even, and I'll have this loop already tied in one end. I kind of carry this around with me pretty much at all times. On the other end, I have a taut line hitch knot in the end. And what a taut line hitch does is once it's tied, if you put tension on it, the knot isn't going anywhere. But if you just grab it and slide, it will lengthen or shorten the loop. So if we just back up here and we go back to the tripod, what I like to do is I take my, my fixed loop here and I'll put it around the hook. And then I will grab the heavier object with the taut line hitch end of my loop. And depending on the object, I may have to retie this knot. And if I grab it here on the side, hook the carabiner on the side, then I can use the taut line hitch and just slide it until it has tension on it. Now it's got tension on it. And now the tripod is more stable because it's got the weight on it, but instead of the weight hanging midair, swinging and blowing in the wind and shaking my tripod, the weight is on the ground, the tripod is now more stable, and there's less chance of it moving if I accidentally hit the hanging bag. So that's one way. Now, if you're not exactly a boy or a Girl Scout and don't wanna walk around tying knots, then I have a second solution for you, and that's to get some of these cord locks these little guys right here, and an old shoelace. And this basically does the same thing, but instead of having to tie knots or learn how to tie knots, although you should learn how to tie knots, you can do the same thing here. Kind of keep one loop in one side, hang that, slip your other end around your object, run it back through the cord lock, and give it some tension. Then we basically have the same thing, again, without always having to tie a knot. So again, weight is still pulling the tripod down, but the weight is on the ground and the whole thing is even more stable than if the object were hanging in midair. This works well too if you're in a studio setting. So a lot of times instead of my camera bag, I will use something like a sandbag. Same principle, sandbag goes on the floor, fixed loop goes around my hook, can grab this sandbag, tighten up my taut line hitch, and now it has weight on it and it's not going anywhere. The sandbag is firmly planted on the ground and if you've got a really heavy sandbag, like a 25 or 30 pounder, that really works well to weight this whole thing down. And again, the sandbag is not only not hanging in midair, but a lot of these hooks on a lot of these tripods just aren't always that strong and sometimes if it's a plastic one for sure, it may just snap if you hang something heavy on it. So if it's a metal hook, that's better, but this doesn't put as much weight on the tripod because the object is sitting on the ground and not putting its full weight on just this hook. And even if you don't have a sandbag lying around, a lot of times I will use <laughs> this dumbbell that I have. Zoom out here a little bit, same principle but sometimes I'll have to take my fixed end and loop it around the object and then loop the whole thing back through that. That's fine, it just puts the taut line hitch at the top instead of the bottom. We pull that slack so it's nice and firm. Now, this tripod is a lot more stable. I mean, <laughs> if you try to pull up on it, it's gonna have the full weight of that 25 pound dumbbell on the bottom. So now I feel a lot better about putting a camera on top of this, 
versus having something hanging, swinging, and potentially making this whole thing less stable than it's meant to be when you're hanging weight. So that's it. A really easy way to get more stability out of your tripod without having the weight hanging in midair, swinging, and potentially making this whole thing less stable. Put your weight on the ground, put some tie line, a shoelace, or some string or rope in between, let that weight sit on the ground, pulls the tripod down. And of course, since the weight is pulling down on the tripod upper tube, it can actually pull that tube down if it's not tight enough or doesn't have a good enough lock. So another way to bypass that problem is simply wrap your fixed loop around the upper frame of the tripod instead of grabbing onto the hook. This puts the pressure on the small triangular plate that the legs are attached to and ensures that that center tube just can't pull down through its connection. So I will say that this method of putting the weight on the ground and grabbing it with some string or rope usually works better when that weight is substantial. 25 pounds, like a sandbag, works really well in studio environments. Um, can work on the hiking trail, but typically if you're on the hiking trail, you're gonna be carrying maybe a smaller bag like this one. And if your camera is out of the bag and on the tripod, some of the weight out of your bag will be obviously not in the bag, so your bag won't weigh as much. So if your bag doesn't weigh as much, it can actually start to lift up as you tension that, that rope. So medium weight things may actually just work better to hang like that. Just realize you could get some sway out of it uh, from the wind or from knocking it. But again, if you've got something heavy, if you've got a bigger pack that you're carrying, or if you can find a rock on the hiking trail, or again, if you're in the studio, you can find a sandbag, something heavy to go down there. The method of grabbing with a rope and keeping that weight on the ground really works very well to keep that tripod in place. I hope this information was helpful. Good luck, have fun.